All right, Tim here. Just doing a little scouting of. Um, let me turn that music off. Um, doing a little scouting of Kingdom 10104. 104 for short. I'm struggling to find uh, some real high-powered players. But this is, uh, it seems like there's two big alliances here. CHS with their sister alliance here, CHD. Uh, and the highest players I could find in this one. Are the Turk Fighting Blaster. I, I don't know where he's at, but uh, Crash Bandicoot. I saw him on the leaderboards for the preparation stage. But let's go look at Fighting Blasters. He's 336, uh, Stronghold 31. So he's he's probably got a half a million T10s. <clears throat> Turk is a very low power Stronghold 30. So he's probably uh, recently gotten to level 30. Crash Bandicoot, he is a level 31 at 294. <clears throat> so, and that also is uh, somewhat low for a level 31. So, anyway, that's those three that I could find here. Actually, let me go back and look at the, at the R3 level. That was your R4s. <clears throat> or what they call the core. And just looking over the power of these players you can you can see that none of them are going to be <clears throat> probably over a 24 oh, there's Byron Byron is a 294 level 31 I've got him written down too Byron the Turk fighting blaster and crash bandicoot were the four uh, level 30 and hires from the CHS alliance that I could find Let's look at Betty Boot here. She is strong at times. <clears throat> Nobody else is really up there. You're looking at probably 200 mil and higher would be what you're looking for to possibly be uh, level 30. Uh, and then all of these are going to be all your lower rank players, lower power level. And then we got the rookies. I don't think they would hide any <laughs> stronghold 37s down in the rookies, but you never know. So anyway, 97 out of 100, 8.3 billion. Okay, so let's go take a look at, uh, I'm just going to bookmark, bookmark this, enemy create. Okay, then we'll go, maybe I bookmarked CHS. MVP. There we go. This is MVP. They're over here on the west west side of the Black Forest. And none of them are right up on the line. There's plenty of room up here. If we wanted to, we could uh, teleport in and, and then just rally these towers. Um, but <clears throat> it, it, it might even be just as easy to teleport in here, hit the tower, and then just defend your estates by reinforcing each other, whoever's got attacks coming in. But I'll tell you, you know, if, if the entire kingdom gets on top of that, they'll, th that could be pretty bad news for us. But <clears throat> anyway, uh, you have two guys here. These are your two biggest players that I could find. Danton, right here, a level, thir thir pluh, level 34. And then Cal, he's a level 35. He's at about 500 mil point, yeah, 512 mil. But we'll go ahead and look at his alliance here. Smitty is their CEO, or their, not their CEO, their R5. Um, and your R4s, you got Cal and Danton both. And then everybody else that's an R4 is going to be sub 26. <clears throat> 26 is the stronghold where you unlock, uh, unlock tier 9 troops. So good reference point. 22 is tier 8. So just so you can quickly glance at players strongholds and get an idea of what they might have uh, in the estate as far as troops 
So nothing in this alliance that's uh, really significant other than those two. So um, it seems to me like there's probably, like there's 430 and aboves over there. There's a 34 and a 35 here. And then Smitty, the, the R5 here, he is a level 30. He is so low powered for a, for a, for a 30 you know oh he's a 30 he's at 176 mil so or she sorry about that smitty <laughs> didn't mean to do the thing there but anyway <clears throat> so <clears throat> we could go through and look at all i've looked at all these the other day and i didn't really see anything that jumped out at me as far as uh, real high power levels but you can quickly look at them and these are all new people down here. Again, I don't think they're hiding anybody. Ng must have been a transfer. Okay, so that's MVP Alliance. And we've got both of those bookmarked. And there's nobody else in the MVP or CHS that I can find that's higher than a level 30. Now, I've gone around the entire Black Forest grid. There's a 27 and 28 here. This is like their sister alliance. But we'll go ahead and look at the alliance numbers here. They're uh, they're 6.9 bills, so they're they're pretty significant. He is a 28. I hate it when I do that. He's a 28. <clears throat> then in command, you don't really have anybody. These two might be a 30. So well, let's look at this one. He's a 30. Okay, so leather. That's a new one. I'll just write that down. So that there in the M, big V, little P. So that there is a 30, but he's real low power. And of course, we would have to find him. I, I don't, I don't know where he's at. I, it, I get the feeling that some of these guys are just like hiding on the map somewhere, which is stupid because uh, if I can get one member of your alliance, I can see everybody in your alliance. Where is Selethir? He may not have a uh, he may not have a skin, so it's not jumping out at me. Byron or Baron Westman. I thought he might be related to the Byron that's over in CHS. There's Selethir right there, in the, right there in the damn center. Okay, so there's your 30. That's probably the only 30 in this alliance. <clears throat> but let's take a look, members, and Selethir. Selethir, however you spell that. He's at 183. Let's look at Simon. Simon's a 27. So, but this Selethir, 183, he is a really, really low-powered uh, 30. So he's probably not got much in terms of troops. Um, let's see what he is. Uh, members, let's go back. Uh, was that the guy I was looking at? He's a 27, yeah. Uh, let's look at him again. He's a 27. <clears throat> so yeah, these are the two big alliances in this kingdom. And uh, there's a 128, 121. Those guys aren't going to be strong. Oh, here's a 182. Dread me. This was another one I was looking at on the list. So I found Dread me. He's an MVP. And he is a 29. So he's got at least two nine troops. <clears throat> um, I'm going to look through there again to see. Because there were some names I had written down. Phoenix, there was a Russian name, Fierstein, and Birdhammer. Or some other names that were in the prep stage where I uh, saw them up towards the top during the preparation stage in the first couple of days. So now I'm just looking at <clears throat> at names here, looking for um, Birdhammer, Fierstein, Phoenix. Uh, we found Dreadme. Uh, <laughs> Pound Town. Uh, there's Dreadme. There's Fierstein. Okay, so he's, you know, probably Stronghold 20. 23 maybe uh, so that's 
no fact. I'm just gonna scratch him off the list. He was he was putting some money into his into his into the preparation phase, so he was he was up there at the top at one point. So 83, 98. Yeah, I've just gone through this list, but I <laughs> I don't know about this kingdom. It seems like a huge mismatch to me. <clears throat> uh, there doesn't seem to be that many big hitters here. Um, but And I've spent plenty of time just cruising around the map doing this, looking for... <clears throat> you know, potential alliance that are sort of off the, you know, this is a farm, MVF, MVP's two alliance. They got a sister alliance and then a, and then a farm alliance here, just like a lot of us do. Just, you know, like war was uh, in our kingdom, they were off the, off the uh, Black Forest a little ways. They moved recently after Maya and I talked about uh, maybe setting up a blocking position there and that'll still be good for future you know if we are ever on the defense then then we're kind of set up but doing this battle will give us a good idea how to defend our own uh, kingdom when it comes our turn to defend because I'm sure there will be that that point where we are matched to get somebody far stronger. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> see, we got plenty of this in our kingdom too. But anyway, I'm not going to bore you with <clears throat> zipping around the map here doing this. I'll do this on my own. But that literally, I, I've done this for hours. Just, you know, zoomed around the map, you know, check profiles, check alliance strength, you know, 182, eh, nothing, right? The one thing you don't have access to is your uh, alliance or your kingdom's uh, leaderboard in terms of alliances or players, so you can't really get intel that way that I know of. If anybody knows of a way to do that, please let me know. Um, that's about it. Come in, bookmark this, and uh, tell us what you think. This is a new one, too. Here. I don't see anybody here over over about a 20 it looks like here's a 21 another 21 see it's well let's check the info before we cut this video off 1 billion to 70 million <coughs> 1 billion two with 43 members um what would that be 43 members at huh. I need to check that either that or my math is off 1.2 bill 43 out of 80 seems like they might have a heavy hitter hidden in here somewhere maybe possibly but yeah, I mean, the math figures out 43, that would be an average power of about, at about 1.2 bill total power, you're looking at about 30 mil per player. So anyway, my math works out. There's nobody in that one. But this is, the, this, uh, there's CHD again, so we're back up, back on the grid. So that's just a quick tour of uh, the 104. Uh, it seems like a mismatch to me. I don't know what's going to happen, <clears throat> but they've, it looks to me like they've got uh, eight or nine, four, eight, nine, ten people. Uh, Lockjaw, Smitty, Cal, Danton from MVP, Crash Bandicoot, Fighting Blaster, The Turk, and Byron from CHS, Selethir, and Dreadme from MV Little P. And, so, and that makes 10. So, um, and I've searched the map, can't find anything else. They've got this side pretty much blocked, but the southern corner here uh, might be a good spot right along here for Team 3 to situate half of their guys and maybe come up over on this other side and, and situate half the, half the team here. Uh, if you're in this area here, you're, you can't be attacked. 
if you're inside the Black Forest, you can be attacked, rallied, and wrecked. <laughs> so um, I just think uh, rather than run the risk of losing troops, that we just teleport in here and uh, go ahead and march our butts over to the to the towers, turrets, etc., and um, reinforce and defend from there. Because I, I don't know. We might have this done in about four hours. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, I need to minimize this. There we go.